Today, I'm going to show you all how to play Warzone Mobile with a controller in under 60 seconds. But first, I really quickly want to thank Warzone Mobile for sponsoring today's video. As always, you guys can check out the game for yourself. Link down below in the description or scan the QR code on screen to hop into the action if you haven't already. So first, what you want to do is grab any compatible Bluetooth controller. And as you can see, we have an Xbox controller and a PlayStation 5 controller. PS4 controllers also work. And then any controller accessory that has this logo on the box for iOS devices will work. And I'll talk about and join just a second and next all you want to do is power on the controller you want to play with go to your bluetooth and literally my controller being in parry mode is automatically wanting to pair with my ipad once everything is connected head back towards the mobile and you should see this pop-up controller connected you can also move around some of the buttons and the joysticks to see this pop-up come up if it didn't come up that means somewhere the connection process something didn't go right but i will demonstrate this process with a ps5 controller as well and a scuffed controller for that matter again simply turning on this controller with my Bluetooth settings open, we can go ahead and pair it right away. And I know for PlayStation controllers, the light in this middle section typically changes whenever it has been successfully connected. And again, we see the controller connected pop up when we open up Warzone Mobile. And of course, you don't have to have a scuff PlayStation controller. Any PS4 or PS5 controller will do the job. And next, we're on our Android phone to show you basically the exact same process for a PS4, PS5 controller and an Xbox controller. And again, this should function exactly the same even if you have a different type of Bluetooth controller. Obviously, you want to go to your Bluetooth settings, turn it on, and then this time the controller doesn't immediately pop up, so we're going to need to put it in pairing mode. And then once it's in pairing mode, we can see our DualSense wireless controller pair it. Ooh, we even get a little bit of an animation. All right. And when we move around our joysticks, we can see the controller is connected and everything was successful. And that's all there is to it. If you want to address your controller sensitivity, it'll be over here right under first person sensitivity. You can choose the horizontal and the vertical look sensitivity. And we're actually going to go ahead and just quickly play some games here on Android and then hop back over to the iPad and play some as well on controller. All right, AMR. And yo, this input delay is fire. I mean, listen, I'm not a controller player. I, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I did grow up a controller player playing like console Call of Duty. Dude, but we are getting cooked. We are getting cooked right now. But as you can see, we didn't even have to map any of the buttons. They're literally standard Call of Duty controls with A to jump, X to reload, B to crouch. Melee is the right stick, sprint is the left stick. Literally, if you've ever played a COD before on classic default controls, then you'll be able to pick this up in literally an instant, which is awesome. Oh my goodness, we are on the board, gamers. I repeat, we are on the board. Oh, beaming the same guy back to back. Sorry about that, brother. Oh my god, the whole lobby's over here. Oh, cooked him, dude. Oh no. We just had to warm up a little bit. That was all, gamers. Oh my god, was that mine? Dude, we're literally frying now. What the heck? Oh my god, they're all here. I'm out of ammo. I'm literally, I've been killing so many people. I'm out of ammo. You got a gun? How do I pick up guns? Who's the gun pick up on Hold X? Got a striker? I thought this was a shotgun, or at least it used to be back in, what, MW2. Dude, yeah, we're just frying now. I'm gonna die, but that's cool, me, man. What? Okay, we knocked him. We knocked him. Dude, aim assist is also pretty crazy. I know people have been kind of debating whether mobile aim assist is too OP. Or sorry, controller aim assist. He's kind of a little bit busted. I'm not going to lie. If someone who actually knows what they're doing when the controller hops on, it might be over for us mobile players. I'm not going to say it's, it's too late. Just saying, this aim assist is pretty strong. Considering I haven't played on a console or a controller in years. Oh, this UAV is cr- I had an advantage UAV, I didn't even know. Oh, how did I kill him? Oh, this touch player, dude. Yeah, that's that's fair, that's fair. I can't be cheesing too hard. It is also weird considering I grew up playing on a PlayStation controller and I do have to give Scuff a thanks for sending me this controller. But dude, I've literally never used them before and getting used to these paddles is so wonky. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna get the surface off? No, he's not. Now, once they add launch as well, the controller settings aren't very robust in terms of customization. So if you have a certain particular play style on PC or console and you remap buttons, then I think on Android, that's not possible. But in iOS, in a second, I will show you how you, uh, you can remap buttons if you would like to. Holy crap. I'm getting used to this now, gamers. 
So if you're on iOS and you want to remap some of your controls, all you have to do is go to your settings, general, go to game controller, and then down here where it's profiles, click add profile. And this will let you adjust a ton of settings as basically you'll have to know Wars of Mobile's control scheme. And so A in Wars of Mobile is jump. But if I wanted to jump with, let's say my B button, then I could say B button. And now every time I press that, I'm going to jump inside of crouch. So it'll take a little bit of brain power, but using this, you should be able to create a new profile. Go in here, go to default controls, and then you could swap this out with the new profile you just made for your remap controls. All righty, let's get a little bit of rebirth action going on here. Now, I didn't change any of these settings, but I was just saying if anyone perhaps wanted to, they could. Sheet. Wait, three shots and he's still up? Bro, there's a tank. Get over here. I'm dead. There's a guy behind me. Move, move. I'm dead. What the heck? What? what did I just run into? A little festival going on in there, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're absolutely clapping. Oh my gosh. Dude, I got a plate. I got a plate. I got a plate. Oh my God. We were shredding right there. <laughs> dude, oh my God. I killed that guy twice and he freaking self res Yeah, dude. The controller versus mobile as in like touch input debate is going to be pretty spicy. Listen, if you play controller, I'm happy. If you're just playing this game in general, I think that's wicked. I'm I'm a happy camper. I, I have nothing to be upset about. Oh no. Why am I, wait, why, why did it just turn so slow there? Okay, shredded. No, I'm out of... Oh, my God. <laughs> we were over the edge. We were over the edge. Dude, are you kidding me? I just let... That kid got sniped. His aim was so bad, too. How did... Oh, my... Dude, I deserve to get away. That's not even... That's not even fair. For some reason, I turned super slow with my parachute out. Like, this is like me going full right, full left. It's agonizingly slow. Oh my gosh. I pressed A. I pressed A. This is me not knowing how to play controller. What was that? Did I need to hold A? No, dude. We were doing so good. No. No. He has to stay up. Don't shoot. You whiffed. You whiffed. Oh my god. I can't. I can't end on that. That was a disgrace. We were, we were popping off way too hard. And if you're wondering, you can use your fingers while a controller is connected to like access the menu and do all this stuff. You can actually pretty much swap out between mobile and controller input throughout the middle of the game if you, if you really wanted to. Hello. Goodbye. Gotta make sure I actually finish you guys so you don't come back and haunt me and ruin my day. Oh my God. What? We just... <gasps> This is crazy, man. I'm just shocked because I'm just not a controller player. And we're doing things that controller players normally do, which is just beam. Lock in the aim by one time for you. I think there's three people in this building. I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna go find out. Yeah, there's two. <laughs> Appreciate that. Whoa. No, dude, if I have no armor plates on, it just, it's just GG's. There's no point of it. There's no point in self resting Maybe around the corner. No, I'm getting shot at. Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? You're not even in this fight. All right, again, please. Let's not throw this, guys. All right, they're not throwing it. I like them. I like my teammates. We got some smooth going on here. Who? Who shot me? Who just shot me? Doesn't matter. You're dead anyways, brother. Do I have shield? I have five armor plates? Now, the one thing I don't like on controls, you have to hold down the Y button. Didn't know that was the, the key bind or the, the button bind. Not the biggest fan of that. Is he going to self-res? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I'm going to die, bro. I'm going to die because I'm laughing. Why is my secondary an RPG? <laughs> Who did this? These guys are trolling. Holy crap. This thing shoots so slow. It looks wicked, though. My gosh. Can we mount it? How do I? What's my mount Mount the weapon button? I don't even see it. Yeah, I don't like this gun at all. This thing is the slowest time to kill ever. Okay, well, that also is a slow time to kill if I can't actually hit my shots. I'll take a free kill in zone. Appreciate you, boss. 
Uh-oh. 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 Almost throwing the bag. Can't do that, though. My teammates are folding. Whoa! What is he doing? Yes! We hit the shots! We hit the shots! We got self frozen kid! Get out of here! We should have got some armor plates. Is there a buy station nearby? I doubt it. I don't like this. There's one kill. What do we have? We have seven, eight this game? Whoa. No. I was too bloodthirsty. Thank you. I'm so dead. I'm cooked. I don't even have full shield. How was that? Is my teammate alive? No, it's just me. Oh my gosh. So lucky. Oh, maybe not so lucky. He's got to be dead, right? Oh, no, it's too slow. No, 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 <gasps> I was out of ammo. I didn't reload my other weapon, dude. I'm going to take that as a dub. That, that was like 10, 10, 11 kills, dude. That was crazy. Listen, controller feels amazing on Warzone Mobile. And I highly recommend you guys try it out for yourself. Even if you're not a controller player, just see. It might be the new best way for you to play the game. And if you're a controller player, well, you're in luck. Because even as a mobile player, I'm absolutely frying. So thanks so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, and if you learned something, don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because we are on the road to a million subscribers. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.